He's had such little game time since joining because of injury and about to receive the ball here, Tyreek George, who is always good value entertainment. Said. Achapong, nice first touch and a big gap to drive into. Options left, right and centre. Achapong goes for Cardoso. He was well closed down. Look at we go here. What a run! What a run! Surely a penalty! Well, that's incredible. Three minutes in, nailed on. What a run from Antwick. Saw a gap and went for it. And it just kept on opening up. And that is a ludicrous challenge coming. Nearly against Ferdinand. 1-0 Chelsea. Lovely. What a gift. Make that 21 for the season, Donnell McNeely. A great big thank you to his left back. Run them here, wearing 11. One of the younger boys. He's pulled it back to Tyreek George, who you will all know, I'm sure, has been building up quite a library of spectacular goals this season. He won't be that way. Oh, this is absolutely frantic, and no foul there. Brighton, oh, they might have a penalty of their own. Well, that's a free kick for Chelsea for a foul on Harrison Murray-Campbell. I've got to say, I'm slightly surprised he's not pointed to the penalty spot. Achapon taking the Brighton corner. And it's a good one. Penman was in there, the centre-back with the header. Moulton looping it back, but it's uh, an unchallenged. There's a tee. Now Moulton running at Achapon. It's powder puff, that, hopefully, on target. But and Mills. Driving at Murray Campbell, and there's Wilson. Get ready, deep. Right, get against the shot. It's curled wide. He's looking. Runham closing down here, he's picked his pocket as well. Brilliant Frankie Runham, deserved a goal. The Lorenzo Ferdinand has made amends with a brilliant point-blank save. The Brighton keeper thought he had enough time, he knew Frankie Runham was coming. That first touch had to take it away and didn't. And that is an incredible on this pitch for the youth team in his time. Free header at the back for Murray Campbell. Achapong. Good hit. Nearly squeezed through. And once again, Ferdinand is relieved. Just a couple of moments on from saying he hadn't had in a row with clean sheets. That's almost unheard of. Ferdinand under pressure. Another poor clearance. This is McNeely. Oh, that's brilliant. Yes, it's a mistake from the keeper in the first place. And of all the people to give it to, it's a forward in form. Make that 22 for the season. Donnell McNeely has both here and Chelsea have a lovely lead. Not too long before half-time. One touch, two touch, bang. Didn't absolutely hammer it. But West. McMahon, look how hungry Chelsea were to win that back, especially with all the defenders in there. Oh, don't accurate. Mills making the run, finding West. That's a bit of joy he's had. In there on that left flank at all. Tease touch all the way through. And Michael Golding, Leo Cardoso here. 90 seconds into stoppage time. Chelsea pitch a third. Should have had one earlier from McNeely. Might still do. And it's right through the lot of them from Leo Cardoso.
Well, Chelsea looking to get closer to the top. And halfway to doing that, thanks to this division. And you can see that game live on the official Chelsea app too. Before that on Friday evening, the top. No foul on Josh Achapong. And uh, T pocking it through and poking it through for Belmont, who in turn has poked it wide. His first. Now, never mind that, is Leo Cardoso. And Achapong going the other way with the cutback. McNeely, hat trick. He scored three minutes into each half with a long ranger in between, and never mind the missed header now. Three goals and three points, surely, for the Blues. And any sense of a Brighton comeback this second half may well have just disappeared. That was excellent. Look at this. Golding onto Cardoso, Achapong, the underlapping run from right back. First time cut back, first time finish. It is very difficult to defend. Cardoso on for Tyreek George, who's onside here, running out of room. Surely a call. Frankie Runham's going to take the latest corner. Flat drill, free header. Harrison Murray Campbell is one of those defenders. Moulton has Tasker outside in first time cross. That Run him. Oh, lovely. We'll pull back Mills all the way up from the back. And that's an excellent stop from Teddy Curd. His first proper save of this game. It's a really good one. Brighton putting a rare spell of pressure on the Chelsea goal. Here he is again. That's right back to left back. Deflected. Corner. Harry Mills, all those threats to left back, has suddenly lost it. And here comes Michael Golding. Look at Cardoso, a ton of space. There's the first touch, there's the second. Oh, it would have been lovely. There's a touch of the Mudricks about that. In the Newcastle match at the bridge on Monday night. It wasn't a perfect ball from Michael Golding, it was a little in front of him. But Achapong, good control. That's the sort of shot you would normally quite possibly send slicing horribly high and wide. But Golding did well to begin with. That's a good touch, isn't it, from Josh Achapong? Who has scored once for the Simmons. To Tasco, who's been told to stay high. What a lovely way to pass from him to Bashir, who cuts it across. It's going to Gorman. Bashir, good handling. <laughs> Frankie running with the corner. And it's another head around the back for Harrison Murray Campbell. That's three this game. And that theme continues. I told you, he's one of those defenders who always seems to find a way to get his head on a ball. It's a brilliant knack. There is a time to... Oriola. Golding. Left, right, middle, all options open to him. He's gone left. This is Chibweze, and it's going to drift wide. This under 18 group will be in action again against Reading this Saturday. Given that, for sure. But in league terms, Hassan Suleiman will be loving this. A really good performance. And his players closing in again on top spot. Only three points behind first place now with three games in hand on West Ham who come here in a couple of weeks' time. Donnell McNeely with all...